Lama and welcome to a new episode of Conacol 2020, the series in which I show you, teach you, or practice something, some little thing about Conacol every day of the year. I am Carlitos from Slovenia, and this is what I have prepared for you today. So what was that, you ask? Well, that was a short and venomous korvai in Aditalam, Chaturashranadai, that means four subdivisions per beat, all very normal. Uh, the length is, well, I told you it's very short, right? So the length is only two avartanams, or 64 aksharas. And the focus of this composition is on the phrase for six, the standard phrase for six, which is ta di ki na to. And I really like this korvai for two reasons. One, because it's so short that you can really learn by heart very easily. And two, because it's super tricky. It's super tricky to get it right. And uh, as I said, it's venomous, really. Uh, you need to be super careful uh, with it. Otherwise, you are not going to play it right. But don't you worry, I have here all the information you need. Uh, so in terms of structure, as you can see, it's very, very simple. As my teacher used to say, it's very simple. And then <laughs> one thing is to just learn the structure. A very different thing is actually to say this, but never mind. So the first line, you can see we have a phrase that we're going to call A, followed by a B, a C, and then a phrase for 12, which is like this. The A is ta kiradom, so it lasts only three beats. The phrase for B is ta ta kiradom, and the phrase for C is ta di ta kiradom. We have seen this phrase already in a couple of previous videos, and we took them together as a phrase for 12 sometimes, because 3, 4, and 5 is 12, right? Uh, and we had many compositions in which we have them, all these phrases, A, B, and C, always together. So, ta kiridom, ta ta kiridom, ta di ta kiridom, something else, ta kiridom, ta ta kiridom, ta di ta kiridom, right? But now, in this korvai, we are breaking them apart. So, the second line is B, A, 6. And this is a kind of interesting exception, because the let's say, the unwritten rule will tell you that when you are reducing these phrases, you would play at the top of the line, the first line, A, B, C, and a number, and then on the second line, you would play A, B, and then another number. Uh, but here we are flipping them around, and when I asked my teacher why was that, he told me, well, this is stylistically how this is played. So I don't have any more answers than that. And uh, you can see that then we have the number six. Oh, I forgot to tell you what was the, the 12, because I think uh, I forgot, because it's so easy. So the number 12 is the standard phrase for six. Remember, I told you this korvai was centered around the phrase for six. So that 12 is ta di hi ki na tom. Each syllable takes two beats. And then, yes, the number six at the end of the second line can only be ta di ki na tom. And then we have the third line, which is simply one A, ta kiradom, and then one three. And that this is the tricky, the most tricky part, because this three is still the phrase for six, but at twice the speed. That, that is why I always been using in all my transcriptions the, that italics, the convention that tells you that italics, no, actually like this, that italics are uh, at twice the, um, the speed, right, at eight units per beat, uh, because if we wouldn't have this uh, convention, it would be, this would be very tricky to write. So, okay, so far the third line is ta kiradom, a phrase for A, and then ta di kinadom. So the phrase for six, only twice as fast. And then we have our tirmanam, and yes, this is a tirmanam, after all, but played in a particular way, which is simply 12, 6, and 3. So our phrase for 6, right, ta di kinatom, we play it at the end in the three different ways that we played it already during the composition. So first as a 12, ta di kinatom, then as a 6, ta di kinatom, 
and lastly as a three, tadi kinato. And when you put all of this together, it becomes something really, really special. So let's bring up the transcription. And by popular demand, uh, really, actually, yeah, by popular demand, I brought back uh, the color coding and the separation of abartonyms so you can easily, uh, more easily see what's going on. So here in the transcription, you can see over here that the three lines and the tirmanam are shaded in different colors. So, for instance, you can immediately tell that the third line in yellow is super short. And you can see that the tirmanam starts at the very last akshara of the third beat of the second avartanam. All these kinds uh, of things help you very much or can help you very much when you are learning this. Some people do not need this, but, you know, we're trying to make this as accessible as possible. So, without further ado, let's go and recite this together. Taka dimi, taka juno, taka dimi, taka juno, ta kidatum, ta ta kidatum, ta di ta kidatum, ta di ki na tum, ta ta kidatum, ta kidatum, ta di ki na tum, ta kidatum, ta di ki na tum, 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 ta. So you see, you have in the tirmanam, right? Uh, at the end of the sixth, tum ta di ki na tum, ta. So this very, very, very cool, really cool, how uh, this little corvai uh, precipitates itself towards the end. It's really, 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 uh, really fun to play. And it took me quite a bit of time to, to get it right. So don't worry if, if you struggle with it. Uh, some people have also recommended that for uh, those that you can get already the transcription as it is at the slower tempo that I just played. You can also use YouTube's um, feature that you can play at different speeds, right? A video, so you can play it at one and a half times uh, and even at twice the speed, I guess. I don't know, I never use that myself because if anything, I use that feature to slow things down when I'm transcribing, uh, uh, transcribing, don't call it stealing, uh, some other person's compositions. Anyway, that is all for today. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, use the comment box down here for that. Or you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. I, I like receiving feedback very much. Uh, you are welcome to subscribe to the YouTube channel and to like my page on Facebook, as always, because that helps. And that's it, really. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow when we will start a new series of Abhi Prayams, because why not? Okay, see you all. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.